Shamai Elite Dangerous Chums and Commanders. This video is all about how to do Neutron Star Jumps. So first off, I'll introduce you to a little tool called Spanish. So you input your source system, which is going to be Sol for this example, and we're going to go over here to, to Colonia. Um, now, next you have to put in your range in light year. So it's a my Mandalay, it's got 80 light years range, and that's it, uh, pretty much done. We can press calculate. Now, efficiency will decide how direct a route it'll take. Like 100% um, will go from A to B direct. But I've done 60% to allow it some deviation. Now, this is for a Mandalay. Now, imagine you're doing it with a um, with a Caspian Explorer. Then, at the moment, there's no button to indicate that because that will have a neutron star jump greater. So it'll be a times six whereas the Mandalay is a times four neutron jump. But you can see it'll list you all your bodies that you need to be jumping to. So from Sol, we're making our way to this neutron star here. Um, so it's six jumps to get there uh, to Nova Oqui, and then um, we're getting to this place here. And it's just con it's just continuing, really. So basically, you're copy and pasting these into your, uh, into your, into your route. Also, make sure you have Jetcom boosting selected in the settings on your star chart. Let's look at the Mandalay and do not approach the star extremely fast, just like that. Especially don't aim for the center of it, but aim for the jet cone, very much the tail end of the jet cone. Try and get in, go at a slower pace than this. Slow it really down because it's uh, too fast, it'll kick you straight back out. So this is how not to do it in the Mandalay. But even so, we get it done, we survive. 340 light years, so we got four times the jump range out of that jet cone boost. The Caspian Explorer, the new ship, boosts even more than that, so 80 light years, and it will boost six times that. Now this is a better example of how to actually do it, so go extremely slowly, probably be 10, 15, maybe 20 megameters per, per second, and get into the jet cone gently, gently, low, shallow angle, and once you get in, try and hold it in as it plays buckaroo with you until you get the FSD supercharge message and then away you go on your way. So look at that, nearly 500 light years, 480 light years, not bad. So those are the neutron stars, these are the forgiving ones as well. You've just got to be really easy, really slow on that accelerator. So this is the, the worst one, the white dwarf. So looking at the light years, we've got 80 light year range on the Caspian again this is. Um, so this will boost more than the Mandalay would off a white dwarf. And approaching the, the very much the tail end, this you need to approach, you've got less leeway of this one, it's very much the tail end compared to the neutron star. Just be very cautious, slow and steady does it, that's how we win the race and don't hit the exclusion zone and start melting. So we get into the jet cone, it, may, it looks almost too easy because it's so slow the way we did it. So on your first times, do it very slowly and ease yourself into it. 240 light years, not bad. One thing to bear in mind with lots of jet cone boosting, it will wear out your FSD. So get your auto field maintenance units online and get it repaired. So it'll take a while, but you'll have to do this. Um, maybe less so in the Caspian Explorer, but it does take some damage as you can tell there. So I hope this video has explained everything that you need to know about neutron star boosts and there's enough examples in there to help you out. But do follow the examples, go very slowly and take it easy and you will be fine. If you hit the exclusion zone, well, just, um, just boost out of there as soon as you can. Have you got any questions, drop them down below. Any hints or tips you can add to, uh, add to this guide, then please add them also. And your likes and subscribes are also useful. Thank you very much for watching. Have a most excellent day if you are playing Elite Danger A.